Hey teachers, perhaps you've been wondering how to use the seating chart tool uh, within Skyward. Uh, there's a couple of different ways uh, to assign seats. Uh, first way that you can do is you can go ahead and click teacher access and go to post daily attendance. And then uh, from there you can click on any of classes and click assign seats and this will take you to your seating chart. The other way to do it is if I go back to home and I click on any grade book and then from that grade book if I go ahead and hover over attendance and then click assign seats for seating chart it'll take me to the same place. Uh, in order to assign seats uh, the first thing I need to be able to do actually is um, to set the number of rows um, and the number of seats per row that I like. Uh, this happens to work well for me, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. But uh, uh, if we go ahead and change, um, actually I'll change this just for purposes of the video. I can add a number of seats per row, click refresh, and you'll see that I now have uh, additional seats. Uh, you can see here that I can choose to show pictures or not show pictures of my students. Um, I can uh, clear the seating chart and if I want to randomly or auto assign seats at random I can do that process automatically fill all the seats I can clear that seating chart again and if I want to select users and put them in specific seats I can if I want to create empty spaces or empty columns to represent aisleways uh, for my uh, seating chart, I can do that. I just would want to add uh, additional seats or additional rows uh, that would represent those places and then not fill those seats with students. That'll give you kind of some separation there. Um, if you have a unique configuration in your classroom, uh, aside from rows and columns, you may want to increase the number of rows and columns to perhaps 10 by 10. Uh, that'll give you enough space to kind of create whatever shape it is you're looking for for your seats. Um, if I go ahead and uh, auto assign some students in here, and I find that uh, uh, one student does not get along particularly well with another student, I can, uh, uh, I can click. Um, and I can swap students and I can then move them uh, from seat to seat uh, as I like to rearrange my seats. Um, and then I would just want to go ahead and click Save uh, in order to uh, finalize that. And then I could go ahead and take attendance and so on and so forth. Um, but that's really all there is to actually assigning seats uh, within Skyward.